Hi everyone, welcome back. I've had many requests for a review of my new Chanel bag that I got on my vacation in Florida. So I'm going to do, it's more of a first impressions review because I've only had this bag for two weeks. But I have had a chance to use it several times, so I'm going to give my first impressions review and also show you what's in my bag. So let's get started. So this is called the Chanel Urban Companion and it is the size small and it is the color pink and the leather is caviar leather. The hardware is silver hardware and you can see that it's um, got the classic Chanel quilts and it almost looks like a classic flap um, but there are some differences. So the measurements for the small are um, approximately seven and three quarter inches wide, um, about six inches in height, and about three inches wide. Um, it has a strap that has the leather woven through it, and it also has this um, leather shoulder section and there are four grommets which allow it to be worn in several different ways so it can be worn with the strap fully extended crossbody um, it can be worn doubled up as a shoulder bag and I've also discovered a way to wear it shorter uh, on my shoulder or crossbody um, to give it a bit of a sh uh, shorter look. So if you pull the strap this way, then the uh, strap drop is significantly shorter. Um, so if you are on the shorter side, this is a good option. And then it also gives the bag the look of a top handle bag because the, this leather portion gets pulled down like that. So I'm liking wearing it crossbody that way as well. Um, it, it works either way on me and I'm five foot four, but uh, yeah, it's a good option to have. It does have a pocket in the back and um, I will show you what I have inside. So in, I do have, I think I have some stuff in the back pocket here. I have a Starbucks gift card and some movie ticket stubs. From last week so inside my bag I have it pretty packed right now this is what it looks like so there are three compart three big compartments or main compartments so one two three the one at the back is smaller um, so I'm just gonna show you what I have in here so I have my Chanel um, iridescent caviar card holder and it's the bigger one with the back pocket. I love this wallet. It's such a great wallet and I keep in the back pocket I keep my debit card um, because it is my most used card and then you can see I've got other cards and some cash in there and there is also a, um, a little pocket here and I keep my driver's license in there. So I have that. I have my Louis Vuitton 6 key holder, which also has my car key in it. So that's what I had in that first compartment here, and you can see the lining is fabric lining in a matching pink color, and that is where the little tag with the serial number is. In the next compartment, I have a Lancome Juicy Shaker in the color Melly Melon and this is my favorite one I love this um, I, I think I've shown this on my channel before but it's a um, kind of a lip stain and you apply it with the sponge and it's just a really pretty color and it also tastes good it tastes like watermelon uh, so I have that and also in this middle compartment, I have my um, Chanel mini O case in, and it matches 
the wallet. It's in the iridescent black caviar with shiny ruthenium hardware. And um, there's the little CCs there. This is full of stuff. You can see I'm not going to show you what's in there because I do have medication and stuff that has my information on it. So um, I won't open that up, but you can see it is full of stuff. And so this bag easily fits a O case that's full of stuff. And then in this back compartment that is smaller, I have my Hermes Bastia coin purse in the color aqua. And there is lots of change in there, as you can see. And I think that's all I have back there. So there is a slip pocket in the back there where the Chanel leather tag is. It says Chanel and it's made in France, which is nice. I don't have anything in that slip pocket at the moment though. So that is everything that I had in the bag at the moment that I am using it today. Um, so I'll just show you it. So that's it empty. Uh, so I'll just review what fit in there. So this is what fit. These are my daily essentials and um, they fit with absolutely no problem. I am really, really happy with this bag in general. I love how much it fits. I also love a few, th few other things about it. I love that it has that classic Chanel look, but it's got a little bit more of a casual vibe to it. I have a very casual lifestyle. I'm a mom. I dress casually. Even for work, I don't dress super formally. Um, so this just really, really suits my style and my, um, my wardrobe, my lifestyle. I, uh, I love that there are different options for carrying it because of these four grommets and because of the way the strap can be changed. I love that. Um, I especially love wearing it crossbody because I just love crossbody bags. Uh, I love that it has silver hardware. Um, again, it kind of keeps it more casual. I like that it has the three compartments. And it fits everything that I need on a daily basis really easily. Um, it does come in a medium and a large size. I personally, I like the appearance of the small the best. I think it looks more the most kind of proportionate. Um, I haven't seen the large in person, but I've seen the medium, and I did like it. But um, I actually only got to see it because it was on hold for someone else, so I didn't. I didn't even have the opportunity to buy it if I wanted to, but um, I know that these have been kind of flying off the shelves at Chanel. They, I don't think they were really expecting it to be quite the hit that it has been. Um, yeah, so I I highly recommend this bag. The, the caviar leather is really nice. I know there have been mixed opinions about this bag. Um, there's been some questions about the quality. I think the quality is great. Um, I love that it's caviar leather and in my opinion the caviar is really really nice it's really pretty um, but it feels very durable it's very hardy caviar so I don't worry about this bag at all I don't feel the need to baby it at all um, I it doesn't bother me that the interior is fabric it, it keeps the bag nice and light which again is great for daily use um, again it looks like a classic Chanel like it has that classic look so a lot of the seasonal bags in Chanel I find I'm not that drawn to just because they I don't know they just don't appeal to me that much but this one I just absolutely love if there were any things I could change about this bag it would probably be the strap um, the thickness of the strap or ha lack of thickness so the strap is pretty thin um, I mean, I still think it's it's a good quality strap and, and nothing's going to happen to it, I don't think. But I think um, if I were to redesign the bag, I would make the strap slightly thicker. Uh, but that's really, I think, the only thing that I would change about this bag. Um, I just, I love it. Um, I do think it's kind of 
Chanel's answer to the Bichette Matisse. Uh, it is kind of a similar style, although this one is smaller than the Pochette Matisse. The medium might be more comparable in size. Um, but I love, yeah, I just, I love, um, I love their version, I guess. I love it so much that uh, I still want the gray one. I went in hoping to find the gray one. I, uh, after kind of a lot of hassle, <laughs> I would say, um, at the Chanel in Florida, where, uh, where close to where I was staying. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say hassle, but I kind of feel like I got the runaround a little bit from um, the essays there. They told me they could get me the gray, and then, you know, it was um, not until several days later that they were like, just kidding, we can't get it. Um, so I ended up that, and then that day they got in a pink. So I went in and looked at the pink and actually really like, I, I really like it. I, um, I don't regret getting the pink. I, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It's a really pretty pink. I don't have anything in my collection that is even close to this color. Um, I think it's a really wearable pink. Uh, I would describe it as like a dusty rose kind of a color. Um, camera is showing it maybe slightly darker than it really is but fairly fairly accurately um, but I do still want gray I don't have a gray bag I've been looking for the perfect gray bag for a really long time it's kind of something that's missing from my collection so I, I think I would buy this in gray if I can find it so stay tuned for that because I, um, my SA may have something in the works for me. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to jinx it, so I'm just going to say that, that and nothing more. But, um, anyway, I like, I love this style enough that I would purchase it in another color. Um, just to show you that, uh, if you do prefer using a larger wallet, um, larger than that card holder I was using, that... The, that larger wallets will fit. So like a, a wallet like my Diorama wallet will easily fit, you can see, with lots of room to spare. And even a longer wallet like my Chanel Filigree, I would probably put it maybe in the middle compartment. So that you can see that that fits. Um, it takes up most of the space, but it fits pretty easily. Uh, so yeah, this, this bag is small, but it, it does fit more than you would think. And you'd probably have to stick to more, kind of flatter items for the, the back compartment because it is a little smaller, but yeah. Uh, so overall, I love this bag. I'm really happy with it and would highly recommend it if you're looking for a Chanel with a more casual vibe, more casual everyday kind of practical bag. Um, I'm really, really impressed with it. If you are interested in it, I will show the tag. So there is the code. It's from 18P. White metal flat bag. And then that's the other side and that's the price in US dollars. So if you have any questions or if I um, forgot to mention anything that you're wondering about this bag, please feel free to ask any questions you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful. And if you like this type of video, please consider subscribing to my channel and also following me on Instagram. My handle there is fashionjunkie33. Thanks so much and have a great day.